This is a DuraSpark distributor, but for the keen-eyed among you, that doesn't look right. A DuraSpark distributor should look like that. That cap is a whole lot smaller. For those interested, this is an OEM replacement if you know where to look, but that is a different video. When I posted that video, a lot of people were shocked that this was available. They knew about using the small female type cap, but they did not know that a male cap existed for the DuraSpark distributor. As a whole, the response was very positive, but quite a few people told me, if you run the smaller cap, you're going to have crossfire issues. That's a myth, and I'm going to explain why. Greetings fellow DIYer and welcome to my video. So Ford started with this distributor cap on points ignition systems. This is your female cap, very typical on a point system, and it will fit on a DuraSpark distributor. When they upgraded to electronic ignition, they used this same cap for the first generation DuraSpark. When we got to the second generation DuraSpark, they upgraded to this big obnoxious, bulbous creation that most people don't like the look of. I don't like the fact that it is sloppy, it moves around, and I don't like how much space it takes up. Good news is, this cap is available. So why did they do that? Well, I was given a Ford Technician Training Manual that explains that yes, this bigger cap was to eliminate crossfire, and tracing. Crossfire is what happens on the outside. Tracing is what happens on the inside. So if the manual from Ford says that crossfire is why they went bigger, why are we even here? This clearly must be better. Well, better is a relative term. And the other thing to consider is ignition is not just the distributor. It's not just the coil. It's a complete system. Every single person that has told me that I will have crossfire issues if I go from this big cap to this little cap is completely ignoring the fact that this is an OEM part used on DuraSpark distributors for quite a few years. In other words, if crossfire were an issue, they wouldn't have run this cap. So that shoots that right there. This is an MSD type distributor and it runs a way hotter spark than the DuraSpark. And look how small that distributor cap is. It is basically the exact same size as this cap right here. So if MSD can get away with the smaller cap, and other manufacturers besides Ford can get away with the smaller cap, why in the world did Ford do this? Let's unpack a little bit. I'm saying that the statement that if you go to this smaller cap, you're going to have crossfire is a myth. Like all good myths, it's based in some truth. Again, if you look at that service training manual, it specifically says they went to the bigger cap for crossfire purposes. So how can it be a myth? Crossfire is dependent on several things, the first of which is RPM. If you are running anything above about 5,000 RPM, you're probably going to want to stick with the bigger cap if you can make it fit, because the higher the RPM, the more likely Crossfire is. But if you're doing a street engine, how often do you spend above 5,000 RPM? You may pull, do a really hard, quick pull as you're shifting down or accelerating up into the 6,000 range, but then you're immediately shifting and RPM is dropping. So for the purpose of this video, I'm not talking about racing. I'm not talking about motors designed to run 6,000 RPM and above. I'm strictly talking street car engines. In that particular case, Crossfire is not likely going to be a problem. If it was a problem, the make that uses this cap would have put this cap on all of their DuraSpark distributors, but they didn't. So why did Ford do this? What is creating Crossfire that they needed to do this? Well, I think you have a couple of things going on. First, 
I think you have a situation where the quality of the insulation on the plug wires was minimal. You know, Ford, like all the other manufacturers, are constantly trying to save a buck. And if it costs you 25 cents more in plastic to go with a bigger distributor cap, but you save 10 cents on every spark plug wire, you have now saved 55 cents per vehicle. Suddenly, if you're making 500,000 vehicles, that's a significant savings. Second, that's brass. That is aluminum. Most of these distributor caps, unless you get a performance one, are using aluminum. And aluminum, as the distributor is working, is corroding and conductivity goes down. If the closest section gets a little bit of a burn spot, suddenly the path of least resistance may be this terminal or this terminal. With brass, that's less of an issue. So Ford likely did this to avoid crossfire because they went cheap on their electrodes. Third, and this is a big one, around the time that this distributor cap came out, cars were going far more electronic. You were starting to see, to some small degree, onboard computing. And sensitive electronics like onboard computing, and we're not talking anything super complicated, it might be cruise control or the electronic module actually that drives the DuraSpark distributor, those types of electronics, they are sensitive to electromagnetic noise. One of the key sources of electromagnetic noise in an engine bay is spark plug wires. If you are using a solid core wire, you're gonna have lots of electromagnetic noise and interference. But if you're using a high resistance wire, that noise and interference goes away. But here's the rub. If you go to a much higher resistance spark plug wire, now the area between here and here may be an easier place for the spark to jump because electricity takes the path of least resistance. And if the wires are providing more resistance, then maybe the gap is providing less. Ultimately, the statement that people keep making that if I run this cap, I'm going to get crossfire is, like I said, a myth. Do I have the potential to get crossfire? Yes. Do I have the potential to get crossfire with this? Absolutely. Any distributor has the potential to crossfire, but it's very dependent on application it's very dependent on materials. It's very dependent on the spark plug wires you're running. And it's all a system. I've had a ton of people say that this cap was news to them. I've had a ton of people say, I've known about this cap and I've been running it for 30 years. I have not had one comment on that earlier video that said, I switched to this smaller cap, I had crossfire, and I had to go back. Why? Because the concept that a small cap is automatically going to crossfire just because it's smaller is a myth. This works without any issues. The MSD distributor works without any issues. And just because Ford went with this doesn't make it a hard, fast fact. There are other factors involved that required Ford to go with the bigger cap to avoid crossfire. And when set up correctly with good spark plug wires, this smaller cap is not prone to the same shortcomings as this bigger cap. If you like what you've seen, please click like. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.